Welcome to the Fermanagh Trust, County Fermanagh's Community Foundation. The Trust was established with the help of the Borough Cattery Trust in 1995 to support charitable, community and voluntary endeavour throughout Fermanagh and its natural hinterland. Since then, the Trust has actively supported hundreds of projects across the area, helping local communities address social, economic, environmental and community reconciliation issues. Initially, the Trust provided financial support to organisations. Here are a few examples of the projects where the Trust's support has made a difference. Um, the Bureau was set up in 1976 by local people, local uh, community activists. Uh, it's an independent charitable organisation uh, that we set up really. The main aim of the organisation is to help people to assert their rights. Well, we've been very lucky. We've received support twice from the Fermanagh Trust. The first grant we received from the Trust was in 1995. We got a grant of £5,000 and that grant helped us to increase the core funding we got from Fermanagh District Council. It also helped us to uh, attract funding from Sperm Lakeland Health and Social Care Trust. We were one of the first CABs in the north to get funding from that health trust. In a very small Protestant community, uh, we have a parish church here which is situated actually on the, on the border here. Uh, the border actually divides the, the parish here and over the past 30 years or so, uh, social life was non-existent, but uh, uh, Fermanagh Trust has been very uh, good to us, uh, provided funding which we were able to provide central heat in our hall, which brought our hall back into use after more or less not being in use for a large number of years, and they uh, also introduced us to under other fundings, funders. Uh, which uh, were able to provide a new front door to our hall. Local animal sanctuary here in the entire northwest. Um, we're greatly dependent on public support to support the sanctuary. Um, so any help from a local trust, such as the Commander Trust, is very, very greatly welcomed. And uh, we're very, we're very grateful. Thanks to them, we were able to to construct this new cabin block that that we we're showing you around. So um, any help at all we can get, we're we're, we're very grateful. study centre here behind us Jason and it was developed primarily to help sustain the already uh, complex that we had here at Turnabar. We had 50 or 60 rooms there which were, weren't, were underused and we, we wanted to get something that would make the whole place more sustainable and we plumped for a field study centre. Just like to say as far as the Fermanagh Trust was concerned we were in two minds not having had all the funding raised to, to go ahead with this project but with the Pamana uh, Trust encouragement and with their promise of financial help, we decided to go ahead with the project and we're, we're happy that we did and we would indeed thank the Pamana Trust for their support of us over the last year. Fermanagh Trust was the first funder to come in on this project and their initial, initial capital meant we could purchase these buildings uh, and that acted as a catalyst for other funders to come in, support the project and develop it to this point. So that initial support, especially locally, gave the project credibility uh, that we needed within the county to attract further funding from outside it. The Healthy Living Centre actually is going to provide services for a much wider area than Sally's Wood. Uh, the Healthy Living Centre, this will be the first one in Northern Ireland, so that's very significant for Fermanagh. The services that will be delivered here will be very broad. Um, it will provide a meeting resource point for 37 local groups. We're bringing in 13 different counselling agencies ranging from CAB to Cruise to Nexus. 
Another important area of the Trust's work is in initiating action research into the needs and issues affecting our community and how best to address these. An example of this work is The Way It Is, a comprehensive review of community development and community relations in Fermanagh. Well, the report itself represented a, a factual analysis of what the state of community development was in the county. Uh, it looked at what the position was then, uh, it looked at what the key issues were, it looked at how communities had developed, uh, what sort of hurdles they encountered and how they'd overcome those hurdles. Mm -hmm. uh, and it acted as a sort of a baseline, or could act as a sort of a baseline assessment of the state of community development in Fermanagh. To a lesser extent, I suppose it could be used as a barometer of the state of community relations in the county as well, but I'd have to say that uh, the emphasis was more on community development than community relations because uh, in certain areas there were no community relations to talk about. However you look at it, community development has made a very significant contribution both to the society and the economy of the county. And in time I suppose has the potential to make a significant contribution to community relations in the county, but the contribution to community relations in the county so far has not been what we might have expected. We would have felt that uh, the best thing to do in the short term would be to allow the two communities to develop in parallel um, and that then when they've got enough confidence as a result of their success in parallel development that you would then try to build bridges. I think we're pretty close to the point now in Fermanagh where that bridge building could start. Obviously the political situation, the macro political situation has an influence on community development. Uh, community is about people politics are about people. So they do have an impact on community development. The more stable the political situation, the greater the potential there is for building bridges. As a result of this research, the Trust has developed and implemented a very successful mentoring programme which matches experienced practitioners with groups needing practical help and support throughout our community. This programme has supported a whole range of groups and projects across the spectrum of charitable endeavour. These are some of the groups this programme has supported. Oh, we play a, a very big role at the moment. We, we provide people with uh, low cost clothing, uh, food, coal, uh, and, and all the different things that arise. There's a lot of unemployment here at the moment. All the factories have been closed lately, and people find themselves in a lot of difficulty. And we get them over a hump. The Command that Trust was a great help to us. Uh, we, 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 we got this building here in about 1996, I think it was, and uh, it was in poor condition. So with the help of the Command of Trust, we got a grant from those. We were able to refurbish it, uh, do it up to the standard that it is, and we have a nice bright shop, uh, all done, all rewired, and fire alarm systems, uh, and all, all the modern cons of a modern building. And it's true from honest trust that we have that work. And if we hadn't from honest trust, we wouldn't be able to do that. Well, when we started this, the whole the thought of the whole thing was very weary for Iris and I and uh, the Fermanagh Trust were there to help us through the whole process as after all we were women in a man's world we didn't know about the planning permission we didn't know about the different aspects we didn't know about architects but they were there to guide us through the whole process Association was formed some years back. A group of people got together and thought that we could make a better area if people together more than one voice speaking for it. It's situated about two miles out down the Darlin Road. There's five house estates in this Dumgallan area, and um, successfully now we have the association up and running. Well, we have vandalism, which is very high. We have uh, includes graffiti and uh, stolen cars sometimes. Um, People having their houses broken into, windows smashed, and uh, the police was constantly alert of this area. And it was on top of the list at one stage, but now I think we're down to fifth or sixth place. Well, starting up from scratch as a youth club, we didn't have the fundamental basics that you need. Um, for a start, we had financial commitment from the Trust, 
um, and also we knew what we wanted to achieve but it's very hard to get that when nobody really has the experience so not only were we given direction but we've also been given a structure and goals to work towards so it's, it's been very very helpful. Shauna Lee Whiteley. It's amazing the difference now you can walk down the street and then the children all wave at you and they're mad keen to get here there's something uh, practical for them to do and something that, that they can learn to develop from so it's, it's very very good. We started working with Fermanagh Trust several years ago when we applied to them to help us with flowers for the village. We started with making the village full of flowers. That was one of our themes the first year we started up. So we applied for them for a grant to help us with window boxes. And uh, they helped us with the window boxes and Fermanagh Council helped with the flowers. So there's been an ongoing relationship with Fermanagh Trust but in the last year they've given us even more support both financially and via a mentor, Jason Donaghy. And Jason is with us, we're one of his groups now that he helps, he helps to guide us where we apply for money and he helps us with forms and support all the way from him. Man of Trust has put them <coughs> back into the committee. Mm. The collective is basically an association of musicians and like-minded people, anyone interested in music in all its forms and all ends of the industry. And uh, it's basically to promote live and recorded music in the area and in other areas to make connections with other bands and venues and basically to give people a, a leg up the ladder and a, a good head start. We have equipment here for them to practice with and rehearse the space and uh, we provide it for live gigs and we record CDs and we have a compilation CD in the making at the minute. Well the Thrust has uh, funded uh, a sound course for us where the members sort of and then learned how to use the equipment properly because there's no point in having all that stuff that they can't use it. So uh, it means that anybody who has done the course will be able to set up the soundboard and to use it and uh, basically just to um, Add professionalism to the whole thing. You know, it means we're not just messing about. Yeah, the trust has provided us with um, a grant for the painting of the hall, as you saw earlier on. Very tastefully painted, and indeed this report, which we have done, which is the past, the present, and the future, where we sat down and took a look at ourselves, from where we've come from in almost 40 years, where we are today and what our ambitions are for the years ahead. The activities in the hall would be, we have our scout meetings here five nights a week. An integral part of the Trust's work, as well as grant making, research and mentoring, has been in bringing people together from the nationalist and unionist traditions and making this a community where people can live together side by side. There are 25 cross-community playgroups in Fermanagh. These voluntary groups in many instances are the initial point of contact between members of the nationalist and unionist communities. They play an important community relation role in their areas, acting as an initial catalyst for further community peace-building activities. In recent times, the very existence of the voluntary cross-community playgroups has been threatened. Well, I think the Manor Trust was the first to brought to the attention that the injustice that was done with playgroups because preschool education has been offered for 25 years but yet when these free places come on from the education board we were not considered from all the places went to nurseries. So the Manor Trust then wrote to us and said that they were working with other playgroups in a similar position than we were and we felt that as long as there was somebody realising what was happening with playgroups. Um, when the peg situation rose, we were really at a loss. We didn't know what to do or who to contact. And it was actually through the Command Trust. They organised a meeting with all the uh, playgroups in the area. 
and we discovered that we were all in the same situation and we had no idea each group was going through the same difficulties. But from there we were uh, given a list of people who we could lobby and that was a major help. Then we knew that people, once we got people on our side, that at least we would have a chance in being able to run alongside some of these statutory nurseries. The Fermanagh Trust has made a real difference to the quality of community life and peace building locally. Many challenges lie ahead. Much work remains to be done. From the severe social and economic needs of our peripheral housing estates in Enniskillen to the economic needs of the Petticoat area, from youth needs in Kiesh to Cunyan, right across the community. To meet these needs, the Trust has established the first county-wide community foundation in Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. The Fermanagh Community Foundation is a mechanism for individuals and organisations to support our work and the work of charitable organisations and initiatives. recognised locally, nationally and internationally for its role in initiating the establishment of the William Jefferson Clinton International Peace Centre in Fermanagh. Support us in making a difference. <laughs>